you come. Yeah. That was quite good, Roger. It's only probably, I suppose, an hour ago we uh, were just jumping off the, the tarmac at the Hobart Airport and we arrived at the, the Huon River. Yeah, that's it, Gav. It's uh, a lovely little spot along here. Some good fishing. At times, we might even get the odd escapee salmon, some lovely brown trout in it, mainly wild browns that are in the stream here. Just nip along and we'll drop down off the bank under this rock shallow down here and see what we can pick up. And what sort of insects? You just get some good hatches of your mayflies. Yep. A few midge about. Um, this time of year, of course, coming into midsummer, we've got the grasshopper coming out during the day. And uh, a bit late this season because of the wet spring and the early wet summer, but the number should be just magnificent. We've just had a few fish starting to take on the hopper. And as the day dries out, you'll see when we're walking through the paddocks, the hoppers will be moving quite, quite magnificently. So uh, yep. I'm really looking forward to the afternoon. For bring us on to some hoppers on the small water. Yeah. With rumours that the Huon River was home to the odd escaped salmon from one of Tasmania's salmon farms, Gav tried a six weight with a white bait pattern. And after about 20 minutes with no result, Gav succumbed to the presence of rising trout and picked up the smaller rod. I think we'll try the lighter rod. There's um, probably the sort of fish we'll get lying in this little corner. Anything, anything from sort of three quarters of a pound you know, um, 350, 300 grams through to, you know, 750 grams sort of so, that sort sure. of weight of fish. As I say, there's always the odd surprise in here, but they're, they're quite common around the river. Look at that one, and maybe a metre or two to the left this time, there's another yep. nice little rock hole out there. That's it, very nice. Yes, you're on. Yes. Ooh. So it was just a go, oh, it's wrapped around there. I better get that off there. Isn't that amazing? Just work straight up that Okay, into that clear water. Good, wasn't it? You just, uh, once you see a rise. Yeah, she was posted there. Nice yeah. rise, fly in the right spot, come up and stuff it down. Nice little, nice little fish. Yeah, be a good uh, three quarters of a pound. Maybe even go a pound at least. Might yeah. Close to a pound. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Now they're just sitting in that little shallows. Excellent. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, Easily. Maybe a pound and a half, actually. He's looking yeah. better. Yeah, he's yeah. A good, good fish. They get the head in the current, don't they? They uh, just realised he was hooked again. Very strong fish. Might be to pop the net on and get yeah. yourself. Yeah, no, no that'd be good if you can, you can okay. get down and let me know when you're yep. ready and we'll, we'll pop them in. Well, I think you can get a much better presentation with a very light rod like that, yeah. can't you? you so can. it's a it's and laying a light line. Like, you know, 14s, maybe yeah. maximum size of a 12, and it just lays those small flies out, just lovely. Yep. No disturbance on the water. And you can see on days like today with the with the sun out and the clarity of the water, you need that excellent presentation. The thing that I very much say myself is it's, it's no. presentation first, other things follow. Prevent the you're putting yourself under a lot of pressure. Beautiful. Well done, Rog. What a magnificent Fantastic. Fish to start He's today. good.
Coming up and taking Gav's emerging mayfly pattern was a superbly conditioned Tasmanian brown trout. We couldn't have imagined a better start to our day's fishing. Well that was good Rog, he uh, got a 7 o'clock flight from Melbourne and uh, here we are 10 o'clock on the hue and we've knocked over a fish that probably could have been close to two pounds, so that's yeah. not a bad start. It's just so close what we've got here, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. Yeah, I say it's, uh, and that was a, a lovely fish in any river around Taz. That that was a very very nice wild brown, yep. just sitting here just off that current. Perfect. Good. We'll just find another one yeah. up here. I think we will. Yeah. Brown trout were introduced into Tasmania from Europe in the 1860s and since their introduction they have thrived in the cooler climate and pristine waters of Australia's southernmost state. It is the progeny of these fish that were transported to mainland Australia and New Zealand and have become the focus of countless hours of enjoyment by recreational anglers. Whilst brown trout inhabit the majority of Tasmania's lakes, the streams provide anglers with a uniquely intimate trout fishing experience, with stunning scenery, crystal clear water, and most importantly, no shortage of hungry trout. Roger Butler has been fishing in Tasmania's rivers and streams for over 40 years. Roger's passion for the Tasmanian fly fishing experience is ever present and contagious. And when spending time with him on the water, it is hard not to take some of that on board. Gav and Roger have been working together for many years, and this was a great opportunity for the two of them to spend some time on the water. Something they spend most of their time helping other people to do. Nice little brown, just came up out of the bubbles up there and took a little emerger. Perfect hook up. Yeah. Just lay him into the. There it is. Beautiful little fish. 